Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. Today we're going to talk about an oft-requested feature that is put in almost all of the databases that I do, and that is automating the backup of a database. Now, when you're dealing with small clients especially, small clients generally don't have a, a holistic backup process where they back up all their hard drives and do things like that. They should but many times I find they don't. So automating the backup of the database off to another hard drive just makes sense for those customers. So let's get started. So the user story here is really quite simple. Basically, as a user, I want my database to perform a backup of the database manually and after each use. Okay, that's great. Now, how do I translate that into code? Well, let's look at what the coder needs to do then. So first, it's going to check for, a, for the folder to have been created. Make sure that it's on the hard drive. Then if the folder is not there, we're going to create it. If the folder already is there or whether we had to create it, we're going to copy the back end and the front end of the database to the folder. Now, in order to make the backups so that we don't continuously overwrite the same file, we're going to append a date to the end of the file name. Now, this will allow us to see incremental backups and allow us to go back to a last known good if we make a mistake in the coding or updating of the database, or a user makes a mistake and bombs out a whole bunch of data. We can go back to a previous version. It just makes sense to have incremental backups. So let's look at the code. Now the code, we're going to first start with a public subroutine because we're going to use this in several different areas. So I'm building this out in the modules section and not in the section that's attached to a particular form or report or any of, of those um, objects within the database. Then we're, we're just going to give it a simple name like backup database. Easy to remember. We're going to only define two variables, one for the date and one for the file system. Once we have those, we're going to set the date to the current date, which I'm going to use the date string function. Now, the, I chose the date string function basically because it's a string and second because it gives me just the date. Now, if you want a variation on this where you actually put the minutes and seconds and time of day, you can also use the now function, which gives you a variant, and the variant can be used as a text in the embedded into the file name. So then we're going to set our file system to a file system object so that we can grab any file system object that we want. And then the next thing is we're going to do that if then statement to check to see if the folder already exists. Now, in this situation, we could not just automatically create the folder because if the folder already exists, we've got to deal with an error message coming back. Next thing we'll do is we'll copy the file. Now you notice in my copy file function here, we have embedded the my date in the middle of the name of the file. So we're going to, the first part of copy file is what file are you copying? The second part of the copy file is to tell it where you're going to copy it to. And in the process of that, it has the file name embedded in the where to part. And the where to part, then I can quickly embed the date at the end, thus changing the file name when we actually copy it over. I'll do the same thing with the back end and put the my date in there. And once I've done that, we can end the subroutine and move on. Now, let's go look how it works in actuality. So we have a form here and you'll notice at the bottom of the form, there's the sys, sys admin section. We're going to put a button right down there that executes our backup. So we're going to pull a control here, pull a button down there. And as we put the button down there, we're going to go ahead and cancel the wizard because the wizard doesn't have a way to attach code to it. So we're going to come down to the button, make the button look pretty. We're going to size it, give it a name. And then once we've done that, we're going to actually tell it what to do when it gets clicked. So we'll go up and pull down the property sheet and on the on click function, we'll identify that we want it to be a, uh, an event procedure. 
And then we can click the ellipse and down below you see that it provides a place for us to go ahead and call the subroutine that we've already created. So we'll just type in backup database there and then it calls the subroutine and we'll hit the save button and uh, close this. Okay, there we go. Save it there and go ahead and open it in form view to say, check the button out and see if it worked. We're checking the folder now just to identify to you that the folder doesn't exist at this point. So it's going to actually create the folder because it's the first time use. And then when we run create backup, let's go check and make sure that the folder was created so that it know, so we know that that part is good. And there it is, Merchant's Wagon. And we double click and backup is there. And when we double click there, there's the data with the date appended in just like we asked it to do. So we know that the function works. And now knowing the function works, we can put it other places. Now I have about three places I could put it. We could put it in the logout or put it in the exit button or put it in the form close. So I'm gonna choose two of those, put it under the exit button and under the form close. So first we'll do the exit button. And so we'll close the property sheet so we can click on the exit button. And then we'll go pull down that property sheet. And now it's got an embedded macro. So we'll just go edit the, the embedded macro because in a macro you can run code. So I'm gonna go down to a run code function. There it is. And the code I'm gonna run, it's asking for a function name or, and really I can put a function name or a subroutine name in there. So I'm gonna put in backup database. And then I could save and close it. Or if I close it, it'll ask me to save it. Either one. And I can say yes there. Very good. And so now that's taken care of. And now let's go ahead and put it onto the on close function. Just, just in case they, they hit the close button instead of uh, hitting the exit button. Either one will work fine. So under form design, we're going to pull up that property sheet. We're going to scroll down till we find the on close event. And finding the on close event down there, we click the down arrow, identify an event procedure, and we've got the same thing going on here that we did uh, on the on click uh, function for our other button that we enabled there. Now we can see that it's it's there just like it was on the on click function and the button we created. And I'm going to save it and close it there and close it there. And um, when we put it in form view, we can go ahead and exit the database or we could close the tab. We could do anything and every single point, it'll click, it'll find the database backup. Now, in our version, the database backup, of course, will only identify the day. And I deliberately on my copy file function said, yes, overwrite. So when we exit the database with any, either closing it or the exit button, it's going to then back up the database and just overwrite and give the latest and greatest copy of the data when the person exits. Now, I could have put the date and time in there and then it would have given me additional files. And, and that's totally up to your user, whether they want additional files or the latest backup from the particular day is good enough. Usually the particular day is just good enough. So if you enjoyed what we uh, presented here and you got value out of it, please hit that like button. Let's get it out to other people. And if you subscribe, you'll get access to all of the other videos that we have. There's nearly 300 videos available on topics like this that you can have access to. So hope to see you again. Thanks.